Hi, I'm James, and welcome to Get Teducated. It's not uncommon for customers to come in looking for a new lens without really knowing what they want or what kinds of lenses are available. So today we'll take a quick look at a few different types and hopefully gain a better understanding of where they might be useful. Let's start off with wide angle. Most entry level to mid range DSLRs come with a standard lens starting at 18 millimeters wide. So when you're looking for a wide angle lens, you'll want something with a smaller focal length, like this Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter lens. With this, you'll be able to fit a lot more in your picture. So it's ideal when you just don't have room to physically move back, like when shooting indoor real estate type photos, or when you're trying to exaggerate a wide sweeping landscape. While wide lenses are also great for taking large group photos, you need to be a little bit careful as people towards the edges of the photo may end up getting stretched due to perspective distortion. Perspective distortion is also what makes the tops of buildings taper off into the distance, which is not always ideal for architecture photography. This kind of distortion can be controlled using very specialized tilt shift lenses. Although some cameras like the Olympus OMD series actually have the ability to digitally correct it with an in-camera option called keystone compensation. If you do like taking photos of people, you might be after a portrait lens. Generally for portraits, you'll be looking for a lens with a fixed focal length and an aperture of 1.8 or brighter, which is what gives you that smooth, blurry background. Portrait lenses can come in a variety of focal lengths, depending mostly on how you want your photos to look. For headshots with a more intimate feel or a candid looking portrait, you want a longer focal length like the 85mm. If you're looking to get a couple of people in the shot or just capture more of your subject's outfit, you might go for a shorter focal length like the 35mm to fit a little bit more in. The most popular portrait style lens is actually the 50mm f1.8 as it offers a fantastic result but is actually one of the cheapest lenses you can buy. Here we have a few macro lenses. While some of the longer focal length macro lenses like this Tamron 90mm can be used to get some quite nice portrait photos, the real benefit of a macro lens is its ability to focus at extremely close distances to capture very tiny details. Macro lenses can come in a variety of fixed focal lengths, but put simply, the main difference between them will just be how far away you are from your subject. For example, a dentist taking a photo of a patient's teeth might want a 100mm macro, so they can take photos from further away to be less intimidating. Where a jeweler taking a photo of a ring might use a shorter focal length, like a 40mm lens, so they can sit the camera on a tabletop tripod in a small portable studio setup. Should you need to get close to a far away subject, what you'll be after is a telephoto zoom. The most common telephoto lenses will zoom up to 200mm, 300mm or as much as 600mm and generally you'll choose a lens based on the distance that you need. However there is one other consideration which is the aperture. Most longer telephoto lenses will have an aperture that ranges from around 4.5 to 6.3 getting darker the further you zoom in and that's quite normal but if you're looking to do for example a lot of sports photography where a fast shutter speed is critical then it may be worth compromising on the longer reach of something like the 150 to 600 for the brighter apertures available in the 70 to 200 millimeter lenses. Well, that's all for now. Hopefully that will get you started with choosing a new lens. For more detail on which lens might be best suited to your specific needs, pop into your local TED store and see myself or any of our knowledgeable staff. There's not much that we don't know to help you capture life.